doesn't look familiar if you've seen any of my other videos. Um, long story short, our apartment got flooded. So we're at an Airbnb closer to campus while that's being dealt with. Um, you can see our study mess behind me. So this has actually been kind of like a saving grace, but today is the last day before one of our big exams and I thought I would vlog just to keep a little bit accountable um, and to show you guys or everyone what a sort of last day before exams prep day is like for me. And yeah, so I woke up this morning and had a run as you saw, which was really nice having a gym in the building. Beautiful. Um, and we're just having some breakfast and then we'll get to study. I think might go to campus with some friends later in the afternoon. I want to kind of do one more sort of cursory work, um, look at all my review notes and things before going and reviewing with a big group. So that's the plan so far. Um, yeah, the Airbnb is beautiful um, and it's just really nice to not have our floors all ripped up around us while we're trying to study. So yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. So you just saw a little flash of the setup. Had to go get coffee, obviously. Um, and that took a little longer than I had planned, but that's okay. We're gonna sit down um, and get to work. There's a few concepts I want to review, and then I'm going to start making up like big summary pages and start connecting the dots and things. Um, and I will show you the process as it goes. Um, and try to sort of like lend any tips and tricks that I've learned so far. Um, obviously, we haven't had a test in this subject yet, so I don't know if these techniques work, but we'll share them anyways. <laughs> and depending on when I edit this video, I'll let you know if it did or not. Um, yeah. Coffee's ready. Setup's good to go. Time to get to it. So this is our exam that is all on our clinical skills, so assessing signs and symptoms of different disease that we've learned about. And the blocks we've done are um, human body, cardio, respiratory, GI, and then reno slash urogenital. Um, so the textbook we have used, I'm going to flip you around. So the textbook we use is Tally and O'Connor's, and every week we obviously had to do some reading, and then we get what's called a master class and we get the PowerPoints from that, as well as time with our clinical tutors. But I decided to use this sort of as our guide for studying. And so as you can see, I've gone through and read the different chapters again. You know, I read them during most weeks, hopefully, um, and made these little, like, summary document pages. Some are bigger than others. So this one's, like, kind of stapled together um, and everything like that and made little pathways and things. I'll see if I can find one. There's sort of um, murmurs and such. Um, and gone through all the chapters that we've had to read and done that. So there you go. Now the plan is to take all of that information and put it onto like big mind maps or cheat sheets of different diseases. So like GI in the middle and then all the different problems with GI and how those present. And hopefully then it all sticks in my brain and that works. And we'll see. There's like a few things that you're... Did 
did a really bad job filming today, um, so I don't even know if this is going to be a whole video or just a really short one. Um, but yeah, spent the day studying, um, went to the library with some friends, um, so I didn't really film that because it's kind of weird to film for them right now. Um, but yeah, I went to the library, did some like sort of verbal diarrhea back and forth for lack of a better word. Um, came home, well, to the Airbnb dinner talked back and forth um, through some pathologies and things and then got to a point where I just had enough and I played about an hour of Sims and now I'm just gonna go to bed. So, yeah. See you in the morning, talk more about it or I don't know. It's all about balance. I think that I needed to turn my brain off for a bit, let things digest. The exam's not till three tomorrow, um, so I might pick this up and show a little bit of the morning routine with that. First exam of medical school. Well, first final. We've already had midterms. Good morning. Uh, just finished a run. It's the crazy hair. Um, and having Anzac biscuits for breakfast. They're oatmeal, so the counts, right? Um, shower, and then getting to study. So I'll see you guys when this isn't looking like this. But there we go. Not going to say much better, but better. Um, we're all clean now and ready to start the day. So it's about 9.30 now. The exam is at 3 p.m. So, you know, that's four and a half hours. Um, wait, no. Five and a half hours. Once we get started, probably about 10 after coffee. Five hours um, until the exam. I really don't like afternoon exams because you could keep studying that material and cramming, and that never really works well for me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is juggle reviewing for this course and um, studying for our exam on Tuesday. Our blocks all go hand in hand. We have our clinical skills, which go hand in hand with the content we're learning in our applied medical science. Um, it's a really big pro of the Macquarie program. So studying for one is still kind of studying for the other, as long as you take it to that next level and you know you study the science and pathology of something, and that's going to present like this. So clinically, I would look for that. Um, so understanding how bilirubin is processed throughout the um, the liver and the intestines, you know, is going to help you if you're studying for a biliary blockage or something. What's your stool and urine going to look like? That kind of thing. So, kind of juggle between the two. Do some easy review for the exam that's today. Um, I don't want to shake myself, um, but I always feel unproductive if you're not actually working on the exam that you have today. Comment below if you feel like that. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep plugging along. I think my friends are studying on campus, but that's just probably going to stress me out. And then after the exam today, it's practicing all sorts of skills. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep going along. I don't know how this vlog is going to go together. So, just trying to document it and I'll piece it together somehow. Vacation, Emma. So sorry. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to show you little bits and pieces of how I've been studying. Um, if you want to know like my study tips and advice, I think I'll make a video of that over the break. So comment below any questions you have about studying medicine or about how I take notes and how I study from them. And hopefully by that time, I'll be able to tell you if that works or not. Hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep on with the day and I'll keep bringing you along with me. So coffee run turned into breakfast run and that's okay. It was delicious. Um, we ate at a place called Kin by us. Their social medias are here. Um, and it was so good, so worth it. Um, so now it's 11, the plan is still the same. Do some review for my other course and then some light review for the exam later today. T minus four hours. It's gonna be okay. myself there and verbally going through things again as a bit of a review um, and I have about a half hour 40 minutes to get to campus and find the exam room and everything so I'm gonna get myself ready and head out 
Um, I'm not sure about the policy at Macquarie about bags and stuff, and I saw somewhere about a bag room, so I'm just not going to do that, and I'm just going to take a uh, pen, pencil, my ID all in my coat pocket and just go that way. Um, and yeah, so I will see you after the exam. Woo. Bye. from the exam, I think it was pretty good. Um, I'm riding a bit of a high of confidence because there's one question I was debating between two answers. I originally picked one and then actually thought through why or why not that symptom would occur and I changed my answer and I confirmed it with someone afterwards that the answer I picked was the right answer. So that feels really good. Um, but now it's time to take a bit of a break, unwind, get some food. Um, See, so I'm pacing, I'm a little bit like riding the exam adrenaline. Um, go get food, calm down for a bit, come back and prep for our, um, it's called a mosque, a mock oski that the second years are putting on for us. So it's an, a chance for us to experience what an oski would be like and practice those exams and things. And then on Tuesday we have our big written exam. So we'll be hunkered down studying for the weekend. The next day. So just got back from the mock oski that the second years put on for us. I didn't have time to vlog this morning, a bit rushed. Um, but it was really good. It was a really great opportunity to see what it's like to do an oski, um, which is our sort of clinical skills exam, which is Friday of next week. And it was really great. I uh, can't really focus a lot on the feedback and stuff yet. Um, because we have our big written exam beforehand, but thank you to all the second years. It was really awesome really good practice for us um, And yeah, now just time to go back home to get the notes that I didn't bring whoops um, and then Study study the day away Bring my stuff might take a little Instagram shot because the stethoscope always looks nice <laughs> So I'll see you in the next clip so I had to come home to grab some of my study notes because we're staying in the Airbnb a day longer uh, than originally planned and I thought I could give you a little update. I'm not even sure if you can hear me, but yeah, let's take a little tour of our apartment. Uh, I'm going to turn you guys around. So, here's the kitchen. Still no floors, but it's dry now. But the water damaged all of that. And then this couldn't get ripped up. Humidifier, a big fan for our living room. 